another beer review. So today we have a beer from Cloudwise, one of their birthday beers. It's a can of their happy birthday, a 3.5% ABV enhanced pale. Now I thought I'd had the standard version of happy, but I haven't. I'm really frustrated with myself because I was certain I'd had it. But I've got it confused with a beer called How Wonderful, and I, which is about a similar ABV that they did. So yeah, I was sure I'd had happy before, but I mean I've had the like I've had the old standard pale ale and whatnot, so I'm sure it's pretty similar to that. But yeah, I haven't really got a reference point for the standard happy. I've had the Happy Christmas, which is the cranberry and orange infused one, but not not standard happy. So yeah, I, don't, I won't be able to tell you if it is enhanced or not in terms of flavour and stuff, but I'm sure it'll be very nice. They do a pale ale very well. Cloudwater, like I said, one of their birthday beers. I'm rambling on again, I'm sorry. Um, they, I chose the most boring one to review because I want to just sit and enjoy the rest, um, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. And there's two of these, so it means I get one of these to just sit and enjoy as well. Um, I got two of these. There isn't like two different ones. I should have probably explained that better, but they did this one. Happy birthday. They did super happy birthday, which is a enhanced version of their super happy, which I think is 5.2% pale. Um, they did a dipper. I think it was the proper dipper birthday edition. Uh, they had a few variants of the proper dipper now and they did a MCI, of course. Which will probably be the best. And they also did a barrel aged beer as well, barrel aged Imperial style. I cannot remember what it was called, but it had some wanky name. You know, Cloud Water, they like their wanky names on their Imperial stouts, like, I don't know, How the Mountains Sing or something like that. I can't remember what it was called. But anyway, yeah, their birthday beers. The birthday beers are ace last year, so I'm sure they'll be ace this year. So let's get this into the glass. I have rambled on for about three minutes or however long. Oh, and it's just over two minutes. Not as bad as I thought. This is going to be a long video no one watches because people only ever watch my short videos. No one wants a long video, do they? People just want to watch me drink the beer. Well, in fact, my most popular videos are me sticking my hand in a box and pulling a beer out, but... That's another thing for another day. Um, sorry, the glass is obviously a little bit dirty. Got some bubbles sticking to the edge, but I'm using the birthday glass from last year, so we're matching glass wanker. Uh, look at that lovely hazy beer. Not that a lot of head, but I've found this glass is crap for... It has a widget in the bottom, so it bloody just zaps the head out of it. But lovely hazy beer, orange colour, slightly dark orangey, bordering amber colour. Very easy, very little. There is a little bit of light getting through, but very little. Well, let's go into the smell. So I didn't check. I don't know what this is hopped with. I didn't read the description, but there isn't really a description as such, other than the ABV and stuff. I'm just seeing if it has any details of the hops, but it doesn't. It just says danker, punchier, hoppier. Damn it, cardboard. I want to know what hops are in it. Not a clue. Probably the same hops are in the standard version, but anyway. Yeah, smells. Yeah, smells really dank, like they said. Really dank. Get a bit of passion fruit, orange, grapefruit. If I was gonna guess a hop that's in this, I'd say Galaxy. Is the one that comes to mind. It just sell. It just sells so tropical. Really tropical and dank. I'd probably say Galaxy, maybe Mosaic as well. And the smell, possibly Citra. I mean, it, it's lightly, but one of them three is in it, let's be honest. They usually are. But yeah, it smells just super tropical, really, super fruity. Like a little bit dank, and yeah, a bit of melon as well, and some mango and peach. All the fruits you can hope for. Let's dive in. That's lovely. That's a lovely little pale. Yeah, really dank. Tropical.
We get mango, lychee, passion fruit. Bit of melon. Still on fruit, but yeah, the dankness, it's just really dank. Tastes really fresh, maybe a little green, I don't know what, I can't remember what the canned on there was. 27th of Jan, recording this on the 11th of Feb, so two weeks old, two weeks yesterday. But yeah, it tasted really fresh and hoppy. Nice sort of light body and mouthfeel. I guess you should expect on a three and a half, but yeah, it's not a detriment to it. Because there is a really nice soft pillowy. Yeah, I'm going to use all the uh, wanky words here. Soft, pillowy, velvety, creamy, mouthfeel. I'd say it tastes stronger than a three and a half percent pill. Like, if I was handed this blindly, I had to guess the ABV. I'd probably, I'd probably go about five, you know. Which is, yeah, it's impressive, you know, but it's, a, yeah, really drinkable, really enjoyable, pale ale, really crushable. Like I said, I never had the standard happy, I thought I had, but I got it confused with a different beer when I checked on tap, so. Yeah, uh, never had happy, so I can't compare it. I can only compare it to the Happy Christmas, and it's nothing like that because I had like cranberry and orange in it, so it's more like a sour than a pale ale. But no, this is nice, and I think this video is going on long enough. I don't know how long the screen's gone off my watch, but to rate this on the old untapped, I'd probably give this well, I will give this so yeah. Thank you for watching. Please, as always, drop us your thoughts below. Give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.